The climate crisis is more than weather, decimal points and statistics, but it is more of human lives and their well-being. And currently, climate, the climate crisis is affecting children and youth all over the world. For we, the children and the generations behind us, are actually the most vulnerable when it comes to the climate crisis. I appeal to the leaders to help involve the children in the major decision making because we are the future of Uganda and the future is ours. A lot has to be done to see that uh, this issue is taken as something that is urgent. Involve young people into action, advocacy and awareness so that we can see that the entire generation is saved from uh, the crisis of climatic change. The climate crisis is something we have to deal with right now because the environment from which we get whatever we are getting is at stake and if we don't deal with it right now, that means we can't afford our life. Where we are going, it is the goods and services that the environment provides that actually sustain us. That our economy near in the next 50 years, in the next 100 years, that our economy will really, really hinge so much on the services and goods that our environment provides. It's not good to chop trees because trees are important. It has so many things which, which, have, which can help us. Like it has fruit and it has, and it has air, like, like air and it has wood to make stuff and that's why we need trees. We can take collective action together, one by taking small, small steps, one by changing our personal behaviors, by disposing plastic waste and other waste into their rightful places. If you dispose plastic waste into rightful places, it will prevent accumulation of plastic waste that can eventually go to water streams, blocking them and causing floods. Help us save our environment.